So today we're going to talk about two different diseases, rickets and osteomalacia, both of which are caused by a deficiency of vitamin D. So we're going to talk about vitamin D first. There are three common sources of vitamin D, sunlight, food, and supplements. So if you live in an environment that doesn't have a lot of natural sunlight, or if you have a diet that's very low in vitamin D, you're at risk for rickets and osteomalacia. It can also be an issue of whether or not your body can absorb the vitamin D. People with celiac disease, cystic fibrosis, inflammatory bowel disease, and with kidney problems can all have trouble absorbing vitamin D. First, we're going to talk about rickets, which is a vitamin D deficiency that occurs in children. Vitamin D is required for the body to be able to absorb calcium and phosphorus, both of which make bones strong. Children with rickets have bones that are very soft and very weak. It can also affect the child's growth plate by softening the growth plate itself, which leads to diminished growth, bowed legs, thick ankles, and a breastbone that protrudes. Other signs and symptoms include delayed growth and pain in the spine, pelvis, and legs. Rickets is very easily treatable. It's treated by simply adding more vitamin D to the diet, and the symptoms will alleviate themselves over time. However, if it's left untreated, it can lead to diminished growth, chronic pain, deformities, scoliosis, kyphosis, lordosis, and seizures. Osteomalacia is essentially rickets in adults. It's a softening of the bones, and the most common cause is vitamin D deficiency. Because the bones are so soft, they're more likely to bow or to fracture. However, there's no growth deficiencies because adults are done growing. Other causes include gastrectomy, gastric bypass, celiac disease, kidney disorders, liver disorders, cancer, and certain anticonvulsants. Signs and symptoms include bone pain and muscle weakness. If you want to learn more about osteomalacia, rickets, vitamin D, you can check out the links below. There's also going to be a video that talks about kyphosis, lordosis, and scoliosis. Have a good day, guys.